I found my orphan voice today. It was living in the ruins of a house collapsed years ago beneath the weight of what was unspoken. I sculpted diction like Pulp Fiction, gifting it the colloquial violence of a gun. I lifted glib scriptures from a street <coughs> preacher's passions to fashion misspelled gospels from its own fears. While the illegible heart left the tracks of its tears untranslated, but the word got out. No manifesto but the <gasps> till even that goes. Oh, we have all misspoken. Testimonies consigned to air are yet tethered to earthly prejudice. Word balloons are too letting to fly and make cartoons of speechless reference. We have all misspoken. And for it, our ends will be identical when the bottom drops out. All oh, swinging our days away on the rope of this life. Our inexhaustible diatribes, our inexpressible disbelief, choked between lip and lungs and lost forever. No manifesto but the breath till even that goes. Oh, tongues. Yeah. I said tongues will cleave to language as fire to that which fuels it until all meaning is burned out. Nothing more can be said. History cannot be recited nor repeated until we are left standing in the ash of voices fallen from a feverish nation with its tongue inflamed. The ash of voices spiraling down in ever slower revolutions to a day when we have waited in their remains long enough to recognize the virtuosity of their silence. To a day when every song marked by mouth goes unsung at once. The harmonics of sympathetic strings and crossed wires fading at last to leave empty the contemplative air and room enough to simply 